Hello and welcome to part 12 of my let's play through of, of my playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 3. Wait, no, this is I think part 13. So yeah, um, last time Snake kind of got jailed. That's fun. Um, I'm not going to eat the food that the guard gives me. Um, that's because the fork is the greatest weapon in this game. You just stab an animal and you eat it. So Snake just ate a raw rat. Uh, yeah. Dire circumstances, humans will eat other humans for crying out loud, so it's not too bad. Um, so let's go into the cure menu because this comes in handy, the fake death pill. It's one way to escape from the prison. And then there's a transmitter. Um, you definitely... When I first played this, I didn't know it was here. I didn't hear the beeping on my menu. Um... And it does sort of come back and bite you in a later part, because it's genuinely tracking you. So let's just get rid of that, too. Um, yeah, that sort of begins the tradition of after every torture scene in a Metal Gear game, when you lose... Well, it doesn't begin it, but chronologically it's the beginning of it. Um, but every torture scene, you end up with like a bomb or something whenever you lose all your equipment. You don't want this? No, I don't. I'm just gonna do burpees while I wait. Oh, there's a fun thing you can do here. And I'm gonna do it just because I can. Ready to save Snake? I occasionally do these fun things in this playthrough. It's sort of my way to keep it a little fresh. I know I just saved through the game menu telling me to save. I'm gonna manually save here. Um, listen to the Snake. paramedics conversation about movies. Snake? My mouth hurts when I talk. Did you get cut up? It this feels is not like movies. someone shoved me under a lawnmower. Do me a favor. Tell me a story to take my mind off the pain. Snake, have you ever heard of Renfield? Is that a movie? It's the name of a character. He's locked up in a cell waiting for the master to return, eating the spiders that crawl along the walls. Ugh, change the channel. He waits and waits for ages. Finally, just as he's beginning to forget whether he's human or not, the master comes for him, saying the time has come. Renfield is overjoyed. Wait, isn't this... The master spreads his huge wings and a gust of wind fills the cell. Come on. I don't want to hear this. And there, standing before Renfield in human form was... Dracula. Exactly! If you stay there too long, your old buddy Dracula is going to come and get you too. So you better start thinking of a way out of there. <sighs> you better not leave me without someone to talk to. <sighs> Please, Snake, think. There's got to be a way out of there. I'll try. Okay. Just let me know if you start having nightmares about Dracula. Okay, so I'm going to reset the console now. Second time this has happened in this playthrough. Um, I could be wrong, but I think this part, this little Easter egg or whatever, was removed from the HD version. And I honestly don't know why they removed it. It's a fun little, it's a fun little distraction, really. And you get some fun little codec calls out of it, too, afterwards, especially from Sigan. I think in this part I am going to uh, actually get the some of the radio calls. Uh, let's just quickly get through these menus. Hopefully I did it right. I don't think you have to fast forward the time. I think it's just save and turn off the console, turn it back on to get it to trigger. Honestly though, I haven't tried it in the HD version, but from what I've heard, it is gone. Which is a shame. As I said, it's a really fun little... It's a fun little Easter egg and a distraction. So yeah, when this first happened to me, I was like, what the hell's happening? This isn't metal here. And honestly, what I heard, this isn't any game that ever came out. You can do a... It's go 
gory, I'm not gonna lie, it's arguably the goriest thing in any Metal Gear game. And I honestly don't know... Like... You're, you're sort of stuck in it until it just decides to end. I've never been able to identify what... Like, it's a complete... Like... I want to see this game. I want to know if this is an actual game that was released, and I want to actually play it. Like, is this a demo? Of another game? Just sort of... Hidden in... Hidden in this game as an Easter egg? Like, if it's an actual game, I like, it's fun. It's a fun little, really fun little thing. And I really don't know what triggers the ending of it. You just gotta take a certain number of hits, but... Mind you, I think you can also- Nope, that's just a pause button. So you actually can pause it. Okay, it's select. Select just ends it. Okay, fair enough. And there's a small little cutscene where Snake wakes up. I hope. But didn't freeze. No reason for that to. Did I? What? I have to recollect the fork? That's weird. Tiny. Wait, does that mean my. Like, all those things are back in my. Huh. Weird. I don't want huh? your food. What? No, I'm not an animal in a cage. <sighs> so Eva asked me to call uh, Eva. <laughs> Paramedic asked me to call her if I had a Snake, nightmare. What happened? What do you think? Are you not feeling well? No, I'm feeling fine. I had the most amazing dream, thanks to you. Ah, you didn't really dream about Drac. Don't say it. <laughs> the last thing I need is a double feature. It was surreal. I was being attacked by a horde of weird human-like monsters. What's wrong with me? It must be a form of persecution complex, probably triggered by extreme stress. The external stimulus of the room is- I've got a different theory. I think it was caused by your pillow talk. But I didn't- I'm sorry, Snake. I didn't know you were that sensitive to it. I mean, who'd have thought, Drac? Uh, uh. Sorry, that just slipped out, I swear. Come on, Snake, don't be mad at me. All right, I forgive you. Really? Yeah. Good, I'm glad. Snake, there must be a way out of there. Don't get discouraged. You'll find it. I intend to. So yeah. Snake seem his one fear that's ever sort of revealed throughout the entire big boss arc is he's afraid of Dracula. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Dracula that makes him afraid, but he's afraid of Dracula. Go figure. Snake, you okay? Yeah. This one's just fun. I had a terrible dream. 
No kidding. What happened? I don't want to think about it. I was being attacked by monsters that looked human, and I'm not even sure if I was really me. At least it was just a dream. It's all over when you wake up. True. When you think about it, the fact that you can imagine a situation worse than the one you're in now means life can't be all that bad. I sure hope so. Well, let me tell you about the absolute worst, most sickening nightmare I ever had. This isn't one for the kids. Okay, so there's this big pile of crap, right? It's shaped like a giant tank, and it's walking around on two legs, going on a rampage and stomping on people and houses and stuff. And this giant turd is carrying the nastiest missiles you ever saw. Like, whenever it launches one of its turd missiles, whatever it hits, people, trees, buildings, turns into shit. My hometown, my old school, my family, my girlfriend, old man John, Everything in that turd's path turned into shit. That's pretty sick, man. Good thing it was just a dream, huh? Yes, that's a good thing. You feeling better now? Yeah. Good. Then let's get down to business. You see, Snake, people are just sacks of shit, and they're full of holes. Fill them up with water, and it's gotta come out from somewhere. Okay, maybe that was a bad example. What I'm trying to say is, no matter what the situation, there's always a way out. Don't throw in the towel yet. Clear your mind. Think it through. Assess the situation. You'll find a way to escape. Got it. Don't let my nightmare come true. Right. I don't know why I've just always liked that little radio conversation. So, this part's gonna be mostly just me triggering a cutscene to begin the escape from the prison. I mean, I could call the number I saw the Sorrow Hold and escape now. There are other ways to do it. Like one is I could open the cure menu, spin Snake around and make him puke. That'll cause Jonathan, or Johnny, to open up the cage to let me out. Uh, the cell to let me out. But... This is just sort of the method I prefer. Befriend him and then... Oh, I think I can't use Seek... Yeah. I always forget. For some reason, Seek you see is reliant on Snake's outfit. And when he's naked Snake, he can't... Chow time. Or when he's wearing... No camo. Huh? Heal. Hey, hey, thanks. Can't do Seek you see. So yeah, I have a single action army. No bullets. So can't use that. That won't come in use at all. Come on, Johnny. Huh? What's all that noise? What are you doing? think hiding under the bed works in this game. It might. I know when s the twin snakes it sort of works. In... I think in the original MGS1, you can't crawl under the bed. Pretty much have to do the ketchup method. Oh, my stomach. So I could easily actually use this as a way to get out while he's distracted. It's coming out. But Here it comes. Oh yeah, um Snake lost his eye in that last cutscene. So it was his right eye. Wow. I didn't think that um, was possible. Doesn't affect the uh depth perception or most of the gameplay, but you'll notice now there's a little black semicircle or whatever on the right side of his vision in first person because um, now he can only look through his left eye oh, and that's where he's he when he begins wearing the eye patch doesn't have it yet but he will get it shortly just gotta Wait, 
So my theory is, I know it goes against everything and can't. <laughs> Sorry, tickle in my throat. Um, I know it goes against everything in canon, but I had a theory for a while that Jonathan here was Skullface. Because he's, Skullface is supposed to be in this mission somewhere. You never see him. Hey, eat up. But, and I know it's not. Jonathan is just a recurring joke character. Uh, but. Huh? Well. Yeah. Your luck. I like. I always like to think it might be, but it's not. It's just a thing I overthought about when MGSV first came out and that revelation came to view, came to light. Hey, you're not such a bad guy after all. I uh. <laughs> I guess not all Americans are dogs. You mean it? Yeah. You know, before the war started, I used to live in America. I even had a, a wife and a kid. You must be pretty lonely. Yeah, I am pretty lonely. Really lonely. What's your kid's name? Johnny. Johnny, nice ring to it. Really? You like it? Well, if you say so, I'll believe you. Actually, my name is Johnny, too. All the firstborn sons in my family are called Johnny. My dad's a Johnny, and my son's son will probably be a Johnny, too. The whole clan of Johnnies. Why do we have a Cold War anyway? Our two countries used to be such good friends. Yeah, I hear ya. <sighs> I just want to see my family again. Must be rough. Yeah. Not as rough as you have it, though. Here. I filched them from your equipment when the colonel wasn't looking. It's uh, the least I can do. Well? Don't suppose you could let me out of here. Huh? I can't do that. Hey, don't you go getting any funny ideas. If you try to escape, I'll have to shoot you. I've said too much. I gotta go. <clears throat> I could be wrong, but, um... If you don't pick up the Sig Spray <laughs> in Granin and Gorky, you don't get them here. You're stuck without them. So I like that they're 25 because that's how many you get in a standard pack of cigarettes. I, need. I might as well hold on to that now I've gotten what I need out of them. Just gotta wait for him to. I wonder. Hey! I have a gun! How are you not reacting to this? think if a prisoner in a military base had a gun 
You'd react to that, even if it's not loaded. You'd react to that, probably. So if I think it's 14475... Uh, I really hope I'm right, because if not, I have to do another method. I'm not wasting time looking it up. Yeah. Okay, door's unlocked preemptively, and I'm actually just gonna leave now. Equip the SIG spray. Okay, he went that way. Six bread. So this is the torture room. Um, apparently they don't care too much that a prisoner's escaped and they just sort of end the alert phase. Don't know why Kojima insists on hanging stuff like that around the games. But, whatever. So now, this part I will always get an alert phase. Like, I, again, I know I said that before, and I got away without an alert phase. But this time, I'm getting an alert phase. It's not intentional. It's just an unfortunate reality of this section. Like, I have no camo. I have... This is my weapon. Um... This section here is all about using your surroundings. Like, that was part of it beforehand in the game. But you had the added benefit of your camo. Which sort of allowed you to move around a little bit more. Here, you're, you're blind. You got nothing. You are, in every sense of the word, naked snake. I'm trying to remember. I have to go to where the tanks are first. So from this screen, I have to go th that way, I believe. Do I have a map of this area? Uh, yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go that way. Okay. There's also searchlights. If I had a gun, I could shoot them out, but that triggers a caution phase. And there's no getting around that. Like... Nobody, 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 nobody. Ah, uh, shit. Ah, oh, double shit. Still going on lethal here, folks. And that's the six spray really helps. This is HQ. Oh yeah, you just gotta. Honestly, I sort of like this part of the game. Like it's honestly to me, it's funner to trigger the alert phase. Only because it feels like a real prison escape. The prison, the guards are gonna in a prison if there's an escape. They're gonna get alerted. They're gonna go on the offense. They're gonna go around looking for the guy. Uh, never kill the puppies. Any player who kills an animal that they don't need to kill in a game is a douche. Yeah, they can still shoot me. Also, so that green bullet there, that's a tracer round. That indicates that that particular guard is out of ammo and it's relatively safe. So... Uh, this part's a little fun. Uh, there's... It's more dogs than people. Snake, you're already in the sewers? Eva, yeah, I just got down here. Mm. I'm coming to meet you now. The door at the north end is open, right? Uh, Snake, 
Let me guess. There's a problem. Yeah. What is it this time? The Colonel found out you escaped. He did, huh? I Gee, I wonder much. why. Yeah, and now all of Grozny Grad is on red alert. Just my luck. But once I'm out of the fortress... You can't get out. I can't? When the fortress went on red alert, they sealed off the sewers. You've got to be kidding me. I'm serious. And that means the escape route I laid out is... Is sealed off, too. Right. And they just sent a unit out looking for you. Down here? Uh-huh. They'll be there any minute now. You've got to get out quick. But isn't the exit sealed off? You should be able to get out by heading straight north. Book it, Snake. If they find you, you're dead. So I could be wrong, but if... I think if I keep the transmitter here, like, kept the transmitter in, in this area the guards are there a lot quicker, because they know I'm he I'm already heading through here. Like, the guards will eventually show up. It's unavoidable. But, they don't show up immediately. Uh, I hate having to crawl backwards. Oh. Uh... I don't remember that always being a dead end. Uh. Oh yeah, north. That's north. Derp. Okay. I'm actually gonna call it here. Um. The next part? Snake dives off a waterfall and I have to fight the sorrow. But yeah. That's the end of this part. If you like what you saw, like, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, be excellent to each other.